Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing homemade pita bread. Nothing beats warm, chewy pita bread. So let's start off with a cup of warm water, anywhere between 95 and 106 degrees. We'll add a tablespoon of yeast and a little bit of sugar. We'll mix that up and let that start to get activated. Once you get, in, get bubbles and foam on top, you know it's ready. Once it's ready, we'll take our mixer out. We're going to start with one cup of flour, one tablespoon of olive oil, and a pinch of salt. Then we'll add our activated yeast. And with our dough hook, we'll get that mixing. Now, once we get that mixed up good, we're going to add two more cups of flour. But we'll do a little bit at a time. So we'll add another cup. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, we're almost there. We're going to add another cup. And then we'll turn the mixer back on. And you know you have your dough perfect once you start to mix it and the dough is pulling away from the bowl. So we'll let that go a little longer. And this is what you're looking for right there. You see how it's the dough, it's almost a clean bowl. So that is now time to turn off the mixer, take your dough out, get rid of the mixer, and put some flour down on your bench. And you're going to knead the dough for a few minutes just to stretch those glutens out a little bit. And once you have that done, we're going to put the dough into a greased bowl we'll cover with some saran wrap and a towel and we're going to let that rise for about two hours and while that's rising if i can remind you to please like subscribe and share the channel make sure you leave a comment if you can it really helps so now after a few hours we'll take our dough out and we're going to roll it out into a nice big log. And we're going to cut this into six pieces. And each piece we're going to roll into a nice dough ball. And put on a baking sheet that's been floured so it doesn't stick. And then we're going to let these rise for a second rise. So once they have now risen, we'll come back to the bench. And we're slowly going to press from the inside out to try to get as close to a perfect circle as we can. Using our fingertips. And then we'll move to the rolling pin. And we're going to roll these out into little frisbees. And once we have them to the size we want, we're going to put those into a... I used a cast iron, but you can use a non-stick pan on medium heat. And you're going to let this cook flipping often. Because you don't want it to stick at all. And you're just going to keep flipping it and cooking it and you'll know when it's done because you'll start to see it's it'll start to puff up once it starts to puff up then you know you've got it done and then you move on to the next one and you will have the tastiest fresh pita bread you've ever had simple to make all right give this recipe a try serve this with some of that tzatziki sauce we made last week and you got a great little appetizer. Okay, thanks for watching. And come back and hit that bell to be updated on newest recipes. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.